Hi guys, it's Jennifer and welcome back to Little Green Farmhouse. Um, if you are not currently a subscriber, I would encourage you to hit that button and YouTube will let you know when I upload new videos, which is several times a week. This is a channel that's all about everything that has to do with home, gardening, cooking, crafting, cleaning, organizing, all that kind of stuff. So I hope that you'll follow along. Today's video though is about washing pillows. Yes, you can wash the pillows that you sleep with on your bed. I didn't know that for a long time and then heard about it and tried it with my own pillows. So, you know, we have, especially like when you think about a guest bedroom where people are using, you know, several different people who come and stay with you are using your pillows. Or, you know, when you use your pillow um, during a time when you're sick and then afterwards, you know, pillow probably needs to be washed. So you can wash your pillows. So let me just say that some of your pillows are just gonna be old and you just need to get rid of them. And one way of checking is to take your pillows and flop them over and if they don't flop back over on their own, then just get rid of the pillow. Um, in all the pillows that I have washed, I had one casualty, at least the last time I washed pillow, pillows, I had a casualty and um, it just kind of, it was a, it had kind of a foamy material inside and, um, or polyester sort of a foam material and it just got clumpy and everything. It was an old pillow. It probably needed to be thrown away anyway. Um, but you can wash your pillows. So let me start by saying that, let me talk about um, one kind of pillow that you have to treat very differently and that is a memory foam pillow. You don't really even need to wash a memory foam pillow. They're very dense and so they tend not to hold on to um, allergens and things like that. Um, also, uh, most memory foam pillows, at least the one that I have, comes with a pillowcase that zips on it and that's supposed to keep some of that stuff out. It also has a pillow top on that case that zips on and so and the pillow top is kind of a feather pillow kind of a thing. And so I do wash that. I did one time wash the memory foam. You don't do it in, um, in a washing machine. It will rip it apart. You do it by hand in a tub. Don't need to add much detergent, if any at all. And you just have to be really careful with it. You don't wanna squeeze it too hard or bend it too much because the foam will actually crack. So you don't want to do that. And the other thing is, if you are going to attempt to wash a memory foam pillow, um, be sure to have another pillow on hand that you can use for quite a few days um, or nights because uh, a memory foam pillow takes forever to dry. When I did mine, it was in the winter and that was a bad, bad idea um, because what I really needed was to be able to put it outside in the sun and just let it dry out because I think it took over a week for that thing to dry. Okay, so if you don't have a memory foam pillow, then all of these instructions will apply to all the other kinds of pillows, even a feather pillow like this one. Um, so anyway, what you do is you just wash it like you would any other kind of, um, you know, item that you would put in the washing machine. If you have a top loader, you're going to want to have two pillows in there so it balances it out. If you have a front loader, it doesn't matter. You can do one, you can do two. Um, put a little bit of detergent in there. You don't need a lot. And you also might want to consider having a fragrance free detergent or one that doesn't have a real heavy fragrance because otherwise, you know, you end up with this pillow that you're gonna be sleeping on and you've got this heavy, heavy fragrance right by where your nose is. You also do not need to add fabric softener. So just use a little bit of detergent in there. So when you are finished washing your pillows, you just take them and put them in the dryer on kind of a low heat cycle. You don't want, you certainly do not want it to be on a high heat. Um, if you have the ability to adjust it so it's a low heat, that's good. Um, with a feather pillow, when you take it out of the washing machine, all the feathers are gonna be clumped down on one end and you're gonna go, oh no, I ruined my pillow. You didn't. Put it in the dryer and it will fluff right up again. 
that really is it. So what I started to do is wash the pillows after cold and flu season is over, so we get those nice and cleaned up. And then again in the fall, uh, I wash all of our the pillowcases that we sleep on as well as the ones that our guests use so that a couple times a year those pillows are nice and clean for new guests to come and stay. So anyway, hopefully that was helpful for you and hopefully you will give this a try. And I will see you again on Little Green Farmhouse. Take care, you guys. Bye-bye.